Hi everyone, Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. I'm still waiting for my compressor to come in and I just received a notification today that it'll be arriving on Friday. So I'm pretty excited about that. In the meantime, I do have some compressed air which I've never worked with before or I've attempted to work with it in the past but I've not had much luck with it. So I figured I'd give it another try today and see if I have any luck with it. So I'm putting down some um, wild plum and I'm going to dry it. I see other artists create flowers with uh, the compressed air and they are absolutely beautiful. But if there's a secret to this, I've not yet discovered it. So I figured I'd play today. And if anyone has any pointers, I'd appreciate it. So I'm going to try a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to use this lightly. not doing so hot. And the can gets really cold. <clears throat> Excuse me. The can gets really cold. I'm kind of liking this.
I kind of like this. The can is getting so cold that my fingers feel frozen, so I'm going to let it sit for a while. And I'm just going to put down a drop of the pitch black in the center. And I'll use a micro brush to move it around a little bit. down just a little bit more because I want to um, move that black out a little bit. God, that's great. That gets so cold. All right, so I'm going to bring down my palette and I'm going to put a little snow cap in it. That one is empty. This one may have some in it. I like the way this looks, so I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on my fingers and I'm going to splatter it a little bit. And then I'll put the snow cap down on my palette. If I can get one last drop out of this one, I'd be really happy. Got it. And I'll take a micro brush and start creating my center. I want this flat. I think I like it like that. When I create the center, I layer the color and I always start on top where I want the light to be coming from and then work my way down.
and that's it. Now, it's not perfect. I'm sure there's a lot more that I could do with the canned air that I've not yet discovered, but all in all, I like the effect, and I think that if I work with it, I can learn to control it um, with some practice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you should try different things. Uh, take a look, I'll give you a close up. It's very pretty. So uh, I, like I said, the can gets really cold and to the point where it's uncomfortable to hold. But if you're quick about it, which obviously I am not because I've hardly ever used canned air. I tried it in the beginning because I didn't have the compressor and all I did was make a mess. But uh, because I don't have a compressor right now and I want to paint, I thought I'd try different things. I And I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. And I would appreciate it if anybody has any pointers. Let me know. Leave it in the comments. All right, everyone. I hope you have a good day. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye.